Hello everyone, Ignited Fighter, welcome you back to more of Let's Play that so, uh, of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is part three officially on the on the third dungeon of the game inside the Jabu Jabu Belly. That makes no sense. That's Graham called error right there. It should be the Jabu Jabu's belly or inside the Jabu Jabu. Because if we were inside his belly, we'd be inside those walls right there, but and technically we're not all the time in his belly. But anyway, the last time we got the dungeon map and the compass, I'm just gonna Yeah, I think I'm just gonna turn off my map for this. And we got Princess Ruto wrote wrote Ruto. I'm having problems now because I don't wanna do this next part, but I don't think it will let me leave. Oh wait it does. Okay, so quick. I oh, don't know, I'll do it another time. Before I fight the boss. So, what's coming up next is a mini boss. So, let's just get this on. Let's just get on to this, I mean. She goes up. Ah, what is this? A giant octopus? Ah, darn it, I'm gonna hate this. So, introducing the mini boss of this dungeon. The giant, the big octo. Run! I'm turning off my map. So basically, contacting him and I mean, hitting him and hitting the spikes will do a quarter of a hood of damage. You just want to run up behind him. And once you can lock. On and actually remember what you have this thing equipped to. Actually, you can. That's kind of a cheap way. You have to. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just have to hit him a ton of times. Now, the cheap way is just doing this and letting them spin around. Because, but sadly, he will get smarter and actually do more stuff. Thankfully, he's been attacking. Okay, I actually beat him first try. I'm sorry, but first time I ever did this dungeon was like when I was younger, so I was probably not like a few years back, like I'll say 2000. 2003 maybe don't quote me on that so let's we'll grab this fairy and actually is there one more because that will be that'll make me happy nope there isn't let's pull out the boomerang again so all I remember really is that boss was a pain in the butt but I have good news. We don't get, we don't have to see Princess Root, Root Ruto anymore. The downside is I should turn on my map. Uh, now we have these big things. You just hit them with one sec. Just die. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be in trouble. Thank you. You just do that basically and get. Now I'm thinking of another room because two of these rooms look alike. This room and next. Right? Or this. Or that room and a following room. But anyway, now we just go jump on this and fall down. We unlock that way. But first of all, I want to go and check out that room that I couldn't, that I didn't go into yet on the lower level. So down we go, away! I was trying to move, but I guess moving backwards does not count. I didn't want to do this at the beginning of this part because then I'd have to climb back up and jump down. 
This is probably just a restock point if you have the boomerang. Because I would guess that's what you'll need. I don't think anything else lets you pass this thing. Now, I'm going on a hunt here. Fairy! <laughs> we got three fairies this dungeon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm never gonna do that again. I swear. And it's a whole ton of rupees, actually. Even better. Now there's... Now all we have to do is go and we'll probably be fighting the boss the next time. I'm... Yeah, we'll probably just get up to the boss this part and then the next part we'll fight the boss. I'm sad. I'm going to make... I'm going to watch you all by making you wait like a day or two for the following part. No, 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 no. The following part where we beat the boss. But oh well, mate. I'm still gonna have it filmed. Actually, we need one of these boxes before I go and kill them. Because we need a box to place on the switch that's pick so that's why boxes are randomly placed in that <clears throat> and now what like enough jellyfish enough of these berry things seriously that is that I swear, gold go enough around here. But I don't remember where he is. He's in this room, that's all I know. I hear you. I am so close. So close I can taste it. I can hear him. I can feel it in my imaginary rumble pack that I don't have. Wait, I can lock onto you. No, I can't. I don't care what you have to say, Navi. Well, that's where you are. I'm like, I know you're around here somewhere. So, bang, bang, this is that one you don't actually need the boomerang for, but I'm not climbing up for him. Need sword, not like gold skull, blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, I don't want to start a boss fight this part and end in next, but I'm. I'm going to do the intro. I'm probably looping over. What in the world is that? It looks like a more electric jellyfish. Oh my. That's... They're creating some protection. I would like to introduce you all to the bioelectric amnoid bear or whatever it is. So next time on Let's Play That's of Zelda Arcane Time, I'm torturing you for like a day or two. Or I'm just going to be nice. I don't know. We will be fighting this boss. Sorry for the short part, but I don't think I can beat the boss in less than two minutes. So I will see you all next time. Bye.